Few words can capture the grief a family feels when they lose a child. The family you're about to meet said goodbye to two-year-old Michaela when she died from a rare genetic disorder. Many genetic disorders can be caught early if babies are screened for them soon after birth. But newborn screening did not include the disorder Michaela had. And while there's no known cure for that condition, her family is passionate about promoting newborn screening in hopes of saving lives. <laughs> Little Allison Lucan never got to meet her big sister, Michaela. What you doing, Michaela? You see, Michaela was born with a genetic disorder that caused her central nervous system to fail. She uh, had lost the ability to smile already. She lost the ability to coo. Michaela's mom, Stacy Pike, watched her baby daughter slowly lose the ability to eat, walk, or move at all. She was essentially like a wet noodle. She had no muscle tone whatsoever. But if you looked deep into Michaela's eyes, Grandma Susan Rosenau says you'd see the wonderful little girl within. You know, even the day she passed away, I don't think was even as hard as the day she got that diagnosis, knowing that, you know, she would no longer be with us forever. Susan and her husband Paul are teaming up with doctors at Mayo Clinic to encourage the expansion of newborn screening to detect more treatable genetic disorders. Newborn screening saves lives. It's, it's a fact. Dr. Pierrot Rinaldo says screening is simple to do. Babies get a heel stick to retrieve three, four, or five drops of blood. Blood spots arriving in the screening laboratory after they were collected on the second day of life uh, the blood, as I indicated earlier, is uh, uh, spotted on um, uh, this filter paper. Dr. Dietrich Matern says Minnesota screens for 54 genetic disorders, the entire panel recommended by the American College of Medical Genetics. Some of these diseases can be treated if caught early, but still, babies die because there are diseases that are not screened. Michaela's family is working to change that. And the Rosenhaus hope the memory of Michaela's short life will help save the lives of others. If we could save another child from this, another family from going through this, it's, it's more than worth it. And you might wonder if newborn screening is at all dangerous for the baby. Dr. Ronaldo says the answer is no. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams.